Hi there. While I'm up to it, I thought I would go ahead and take a stab at the tutorial on the bucket fill painting that I do. And this uh, tutorial will be in Paint Shop Pro 9. Um, the process that I use is pretty much the same. However, in GIMP there is no inner bevel and that's the only drawback there. However, it uh, can make some beautiful stuff there too. And that'll be the next tutorial I make. Okay, the first thing that I do is I take the lines out of the picture that I want. Um, so I try to choose a picture that's going to be easy to tackle. <laughs> Something with uh, strong, bold, and clear lines in it. And I just use the magic wand and I select my lines. And I cut them out. And it looks like I missed a whole bunch there. I'm trying to make this quick for you, so here's the outcome of the uh, elongated process. Um, what you would do is you would backspace that, go in, and continue to hit until you get them all. Oh, no wonder I'm on continuous. All right, let's try that. There we go. I would cut them out, make a new image out of them. Use the brightness and contrast to make it completely black, and voila, I have my lines. Um, the lines I like to do, uh, I like to change them, make them gold, usually is what I go with. And here's how I do that. I'm going to use my wand again, make sure the continuous is off. I'm going to click on the outside and then invert it. That way I know I have every single bit of black line that I see on this page. And then I'm going to go to my spray brush, and I'm going to choose colors under pattern. And I'm going to pick the patterns that I want. The patterns are what I use in my uh, fill bucket in order to paint. Um, let's see. I don't know what I want to go with. I normally choose gold, but I didn't want to do gold on the panda bear. I'd like to make a be a panda bear and, and give it to be a panda. <laughs> Her stuff is just fabulous. Let's see. Um, I like to color with beads a lot. Or should I say dump fill? Okay, I'll just go with the gold here. Make that easy. Paint it, and then I use the inner bevel to get kind of a, a 3D pop look to it in Paint Shop Pro. Okay, inner bevel. Voila. And the settings are pretty, uh, I've got it on default. I just clicked the default over here and it, it happened to be exactly what I was hoping for. So that part is finished. Deselect the lines and put that aside. Meanwhile, I come back over here and I put everything back. Now I'm going to invert my selection. Just to make this quick, instead of doing each individual, what I would normally do is I put my wand on, I put continuous on, and I go for one section at a time. And under that one section, once it's all highlighted, that's the only thing that'll color, so that makes it really fast and easy for me here. And I would choose something out of here. Um, Where did those beads go? I got a lot of crushed velvet and suede too. I like to use those. Um, pretty purple. All right, I'm gonna go with the purple beads. Grab my bucket, and that's done. So it's really quick and easy, as you can see. Now, to do the whole thing at once, just for the heck of it, reselect everything. Invert it, and go ahead and use your inner bevel. Notice I've only got the inside painted portions. Oh, pretty. Um, let's see. I think I want it a little less 
light, we're going to change the ambiance and bring it down some. There we go. Excuse me. A little bit more. And deselect my lines. Voila. And then, whoops. If I were to take this, copy it, and then paste it overlaid on here, give it a little bit of a drop shadow, and I'm finished. And that's how I do it. Um, it can be really time consuming because a lot of times I do go through and I pick each individual little tiny section and do things to it. I will dump bucket it. I can bevel it after I'm done or leave it. Um, uh, change the lightness or the transparency if I'm trying to make something that looks like stained glass. Uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions,